Have you been to your local grocery store lately? Have you noticed a trend of seeing more organic products on the shelves? This growing agriculture segment is more prevalent now than ever before, and there's data to prove it. With the rise of processed foods and the more prevalent use of chemicals and pesticides on produce, health experts have also seen an increase in diseases and illnesses. More people nowadays are turning their attention to organic produce in their households. You know what they say, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. So if the consumption of organic produce makes you healthy, there's no reason not to opt for organic produce. In this video, we're going to talk about the states with the most organic farms. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. First, it's important to note the word organic is more than just a label. Food producers must adhere to strictly regulated processes vetted by the various USDA certifiers for them to get organic designations. The organic label provides farmers with a strong marketing tool and also assures customers that the products they are purchasing meet the standards. Between 2016 and 2019, there was a 17% increase in the number of certified farms in the United States. In 2008, there were only 11,000 certified farms. Fast forward to 2019, and that number has grown by leaps and bounds to 16,500. Sales-wise, there was a 31% increase from 2016 to 2019. In 2019, the total sales of organic products reached an all-time high of 9.9 .9 billion. Since the first organic survey done in 2008, the value of organic products sold and the acres used for organic production have both increased. The value of sales has also tripled between 2008 and 2019. When it comes to the number of organic farms, California leads the pack with almost double the organic farms of any state. The state of California has more than 70,000 certified organic farms and sales from those farms accounted for more than 6% of total farm sales sales in 2017. However, when you look at the trends, their number of acres in the state that are in the process of becoming organic is fewer compared to others. How does a farm become organic certified? Becoming organic certified involves a few steps. The field or farm parcel must have had no use of herbicides, pesticides, or other prohibited chemicals for a period of three years. In 2012, there were almost 500 acres transitioning from conventional to organic farming in the state of California. However, the number dropped by 20% in 2017, and the number of acres went down to 374. Although the state's rate of expansion is showing signs of slowing down, it's still adding more land than any other state in the country. In 2019, the state of California had 965,000 acres of land used for organic farming and registered sales of $3.5 billion according to the USDA census. Maine is another state that has a good share of organic farms in the country. When it comes to the availability of organic produce, Maine is another state to be reckoned with. The state also has the title of having the greatest number of organic vegetable farms. There are about 37 organic farms per 100,000 people. This is due in part to the number of programs available to farmers. Tom Roberts, the main farmer and owner of Snake Root Organic Farm in Pittsfield, says that for him, farming is comparable to parenting. He says that the crops are like his children, and he needs to take good care of them. He further says that there's lots of land in Maine, and land is less expensive compared to other states. This is the main reason why many farmers not born in Maine come to Maine and start their own farms. The state also boasts of an incredible support network for beginning farmers, as well as advanced farmers. This is to ensure that they have everything they need to succeed in their farming endeavors. People also support their farms. Wisconsin also ranks high when it comes to organic farms. Organic operations make up 2% of all farming operations in the state. Wisconsin had 1,364 farms in 2019, which accounted for 8% of the nation's total number of organic farms. The number of acres for organic farming increased by 31,674 from 2016 to 2019. Like Maine, the state has been very supportive of farmers who are interested in shifting to organic production. Peer-to-peer -peer networks have helped farmers develop a marketplace and has given them the education they need to achieve success. Cow milk had the highest total value in terms of sales of organically produced commodities. It accounted for 125.7 million. On December 31, 1990, Wisconsin's organic milk cows comprised 9% of the national inventory. The state's organic milk cow inventory ranked fourth in the nation behind California, Texas, and New York. The state also produced a quarter of the nation's organic cranberries in 2019. Suffice it to say that the future of organic farming is promising in the state of Wisconsin. Another state that boasts of plenty of organic farms is Idaho. 
In 2019, Idaho reported $206 million in total organic sales, which ranked the state number 10 in the country in that category. The state also has the same rank when it comes to total certified organic acres with 181,000. Considering the state's relatively small population in comparison with others, it's quite impressive. In the past four years, the growth of the state's organic food production has also increased rapidly. ISDA certifies almost 70% of Idaho's organic operations. The increase in organic production has been so rapid that they had no choice but to temporarily limit the number of operations it certified in 2017. Just like the national data, there has been growth in all sectors, namely livestock, crops, and handling. Milk remains the state's top farm commodity in terms of total farm gate receipts. Before we go on to the other states, let's find out the benefits of consuming organic food. Firstly, organic food is produced, processed, and prepared without the use of any chemicals. Organic food is increasing in popularity because it is healthier compared to food produced the conventional way. The consumption of organic food is a growing trend as more and more people are realizing its many benefits. So what does the consumption of organic food result in? It leads to improved overall health because organic food does not contain any toxic chemicals. It uses natural techniques such as green manure to fertilize lands. Organic food has more antioxidant content and this has been established in a number of studies. This is because organic food is free from chemicals that normally react with minerals and other organic compounds. The consumption of organic food also leads to an improved heart condition. Animals that graze exclusively on grass have increased amounts of conjugated linoleic acid Acid, or CLA. CLA is a heart-healthy fatty acid which has the potential to bolster cardiovascular protection. Oregon is also one of the top states with the most number of organic farms. The state has 525 certified organic farms, which translates to 196,000 acres used in organic production. In terms of sales of organic agriculture products, the state accounts for more than $454 million. Aside from an increased interest in organic farming, the state's food food processing sector is also showing marked interest in using organically grown ingredients and a lot of companies have been dedicating production lines to organic products. Consumer interest goes hand in hand with organic availability and increased production. They are also happy to report that there are more retail stores and restaurants that focus on the organic sector. Clearly the organic trend is catching on in Oregon. More stores are also incorporating organic products into their selections so customers don't have to go to special places to get organic produce. There have been promising numbers since the first NASS survey done in 2008. Not only has the number of organic farms increased, the acres used for organic farming, as well as the value of organic products sold, have also risen dramatically. The value of sales has tripled between 2008 and 2019. In a direct effect of this growth, the number of certified organic commodities have risen dramatically. Organic farms have reported figures of over 2 billion in direct sales to retail markets, food hubs, and institutions. Additionally, Organic farms have also sold an additional 300 million directly to consumers. It is evident that organic is a thriving cultural segment. Washington is another major player in organic farming. In the early 1870s, organic farming was still in its infancy in the state of Washington. It was the time when individual gardeners and farmers were looking for alternative methods to the many sprays used in farming, and the options they had were few and far between. In 1987, the Washington State Department of Agriculture had been established, and had started certifying farms. An organic advisory board had also been formed to work with the WSDA, and this allowed stakeholders and growers oversight, as well as input on the development of organic standards. By 1988, the WSDA had certified 68 organic farms and about 2,000 acres as organic. Fast forward to 2019, and Washington is ranked number two in the country in terms of organic sales, with 886 million, second only to the state of California. Of the first 100 farms, Farms certified organic by the WSDA more than 25 years ago, 21 have retained their certified organic status under their original farm names. Many other farms are still in operation but have changed roles or organizations. Washington has 677 organic farms and more than 105,000 acres used in organic production. The state's organic farmers produce apples, sweet cherries, pears, yellow onions, sweet corn, blueberries, potatoes, and peaches. When it comes to organic livestock, the state also produces milk, poultry, and eggs. Do you think it's better for people to consume organic products or not? Let us know the reasons in the comments section. Stay safe and we'll see you in the next video.